Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle simple interest, principal amount. So in our previous video, interest amount ang pinag-usapan natin. Ngayon, principal naman yung kukunin natin. So ang formula natin, yung originally was I is equal to PRT, where the I is the interest amount, P is the principal, rate is R for rate, and T for time. Now, for the principal, the formula is P is equal to I over RT. Alright, so let's have some example. Number one, Homer borrows to a bank with an interest rate of 20% interest per year for two years. The interest amounted to $6,000. How much did he borrow? So, magkano daw yung inutang niya? So, may interest rate ng 20%, tapos for two years yun, at interest amounted to $6,000. Magkano ba inutang niya? So, lagyan natin yung formula. That's P is equal to I over RT. Nagayin na natin yung substitute na natin siya. So, that will be P is equal to 6000 over the quantity 0.2 times 2. Bakit 0.2? Kasi 20%. So, divide mo yung 20 ng 100, you will get 0.2. At yung 2 kasi 2 years. O, ang time nakadepend palagi sa years. So, the final answer for that one, the principal is $15,000. So, $15,000 yung inutang niya with an interest rate of 20% interest per year for 2 years. Na yung nagkaroon ng interest amount na $6,000. Alright, so example number 2. Bart paid an interest amount of $500 after 3 years. He borrowed the money with an interest rate of 5% per year. How much money did he borrow? So again, let's place the formula. P is equal to I over RT. And substitute the given. Substitute natin yung given dun sa formula. So that will be P is equal to 500 over mo ng quantity 0 0.05 times mo ng 3. 0 0.05 kasi 5%. So 5 divided mo ng 100, that is 0 0.05. And the answer, that will be 3,333.33. So ito yung inutang niya. Na nagkaroon ng interest sa mga 500 after 3 years with an interest rate of 5% per year. Alright, so last example tayo. Lisa paid an interest amount of 200 pesos after borrowing the money for 5 years and 5 months to a bank with an interest rate of 10%. How much did she borrow? So, as usual, lagi natin palagi yung formula P is equal to I over RT. And lagi natin yung Given, then sa formula, substitute natin, that will be P is equal to 200 over the quantity 0.1 times the quantity 5 plus 5 over 12. Okay, bakit nga ba ganito yun? 5 plus 5 over 12. So yung 5, that will be for 5 years. Yung 5 over 12, that will be for the 5 months. Remember, nakadepend palagi ang time sa year. So there are 12 months in 1 year. And I'm given natin as 5 months, so that will be a fraction of it. So that will be 5 over 12. So kung 6 months yan, or 5 years and 6 months, that will be 5 plus 6 over 12. Kung 7 months, that will be 5 plus 7 over 12 then. So going back to the problem, so computing natin to, the answer will be 369.23 pesos. So ito yung inutang niya. Alternatively, you can write it like this one. In na 5 plus 5 over 12, you can write it as 65 over 12. So, paano na galing yung 65 over 12? Remember, 5 years, so that will be 60 months. There are 12 months in a year, so times 5, that's 60. And sabi dito, 5 years and 5 months, so 60 plus 5, that will be 65. Over mo siya ng 12. So, you will arrive at the same answer naman. Alright, it's your turn. So, meron tayong mini quiz. So, March borrows to a bank with an interest rate of 15% interest per year for 3 years and 6 months. The interest amounted to $5,000. How much did he borrow? So, I'll give you 10 seconds or 5 seconds. You may pause the video naman and I will reveal the answer after. Okay? So the answer for this one is 9,523.81. So the solution is on your screen, naman. Two solutions are provided.
So I'll provide you the first solution and the second solution. And that's the end of the video about simple interest principal amount. Next video natin will be about simple interest interest rate. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Comment kayo, comment down below then. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.